Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Ashok from TechieB and today we have a new update for .OS. Previously we had .OS 2.2 and now they have released .OS 2.3 which consists of few additions. And this ROM is one of the most stable ROM I have ever used on any device. It is available for many other devices. You can check the description below. So first of all, let me show you the software info under system, about phone, OS information, here you can see .OS version 2.3 which is an official version, Android version 8.1 with a security patch of 5th June 2018. This ROM also supports OTA update so if you guys are running .OS 2.2 then you should have an update available for the same device. So this will be the first look, it comes pre-installed with a modded pixel launcher and the best part of this ROM is it comes with an Android P like quick setting panels and Android P like setting menu which have colorful icons camera is a decent camera over here which does not have much of options but you can use google camera instead of this camera so now let's go inside the settings and here you have all the basic options like network and internet where wi-fi everything is working fine bluetooth world services along with that you have two additional options which is dot ui center and dot extras under dot ui center here you can customize the interface you have options of applying theme under which overlay color can be changed, ascent color can be changed. After that you have dot extra which consists of all the customization options available on any custom room. Under status bar it, it gives you all the options of battery icon style, clock and date, status bar items, traffic indicator, miscellaneous. Then you have navigation bar in which you can customize the navigation bar. Also it consists of navbar tuner in which you can change the layout of the navigation bar. Then you have quick setting panels in which you can enable the brightness slider if you want you can hide it from the quick setting panel. Recents consist of recents UI in which you can use immersive mode and also enable memory bar on the recents panel. Then you have lock screen, lock screen UI. Here you have options for double tap to sleep, face auto unlock and under clock style there's a new clock available which says analog deadpool so this is the watch which i'm using right now and after that you have few options of show charging info and other stuff at last you have system which consists of app operations buttons general tweak in which you have few in call vibration options then you have weather you can enable weather services from here but one weird thing is they have not positioned this properly it should have been towards the left hand side or towards the right hand side or else there should be an option to change the position of the weather in the status bar under display you have ambient display available double tap to wake ui style you have four ui styles available here after that ambient display in which you can also use always on display It also comes with OnePlus Doze in which you can use tilt sensor, proximity sensor and pocket pulse. Now going to the system here you have jump to camera option. Along with that few screen of gestures are also available. Notification slider can be customized you want you can swap the buttons from here. So guys these are the things available on this room. Now let's go and check the benchmark results going with Geekbench application under the single core scores 1424 wherein multi core scores 3741. Talking about Antutu bench application and under this results are amazing 161407. So that's it in today's video if you like the video then do give me a thumbs up and also subscribe and press the bell icon to get notified whenever I upload any new video. So thanks for watching have a great day.